Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and boy oh boy, do I have one heck of a beefed up truck for you. It's this vehicle right here. What the heck is it? It's a Roush F-150. But before we get into this carbonized gray, beefed up, full-size pickup truck, let's talk about what's going on here. Jack Roush, he not only owns a race team, he himself wants was a race car driver. Now, over the years, there's been this association with Ford and Roush Racing to the point where Jack Roush decided to not only do his magic in the racing world, but also bring it to the streets for you and I to enjoy on an everyday kind of basis. Originally, it was primarily focused around the original pony car, the Ford Mustang, but Jack Roush has expanded what they do with some of the Ford products, especially this F-150. Now, in the world today, there's a lot of different performance trucks and some that you could get directly from the manufacturer, but also there are other people like Roush who take the truck in its base form and turn it into something special. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for that performance truck that gives you something a little bit extra, is this Roush F-150 the way to go? Or should you think about maybe just buying a Ford Raptor or something equivalent right direct from the manufacturer? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Roush F-150 and find out. Right off the bat, the color. Carbonized gray is one of my favorite colors. They brought it into existence for the 2020 model year and it's still in their lineup. Now at the front of the business, we're gonna see a little bit extra width then your standard F-150. And I like the way that Roush, instead of just doing regular flat black like you would find on a Raptor, he went ahead and did the painted black fender flares with the LED lighting in it. Gives it a nice bright yellow glow, but also gives us that extra aggressive look from the front. Now, when we look at the headlight design, you're gonna get that upgraded, updated F-150 headlight design right from the factory. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamp. I guess the one zonk I have, because this is an XLT trim, is that you got the good old fashioned Edison light bulbs in there. So I could actually see Thomas Edison in there turning the light on and off. There's like a little switch. I wish that was LED. So we are gonna zonk that, but I do love that extra fender flare looking great. Now, as we work our way down, you'll notice how Ford takes the LED daytime running lamp and actually brings it into the lower bumper area. You do have LED fog lamps, and I like the way that we have metal, not plastic, metal front bumpers spray painted in that beautiful carbonized gray. Now, as we come across the front, what are some other things that Roush does right at his facility to turn this into a special truck, you have a unique grill. They went ahead and got the triple LED lighting like you would find on a Ford Raptor. I like the way the grill is flat black, not gloss. And the way they did the intricate openings looks really clean. You got the Roush name. That's what people are gonna see coming up in their rear view mirror. And we do have a forward facing camera and a washer which is a very nice touch. And then this very large opening on the bottom. Now, as we continue down, we do have more opening in this lower bumper area, and you have two satin black tow hooks so that you could pull those lesser trucks out of the mud, out of the dirt. Now, as we rise up, besides the fender flares, besides the grill, we have a unique hood. Functional heat extractors on both sides. I love the size. I love the way they just kept it a nice flat black. And then we have the flat black stripe in the center, that anti-glare stripe. Not only is gonna help cut down on glare that's hitting the hood, but it just gives it that extra kind of performance look, even up onto the roof. You see how it says Roush? I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in. It actually says Roush. That's more flat black right at the front of that roof line. Really, really unique, something different to separate it from the Raptors, the TRXs, and everything else in between. Now, as we go really wide around these fender flares, what are we working wheel and tire setup? You're gonna get these beautiful, absolutely beautiful, it's like a satin gunmetal gray finish 
V-spoke design, Roush branded wheel. There's your Roush name stamped in there. This wheel, when you think about, well, what size is it? 20 inch wheel, and we have 33 inch off-road tires all the way around. You can see the shielding to protect the sidewall. And then another option box that's been checked off on this particular one is you're getting a coilover shock suspension. It's the Fox Racing 2.0 suspension and I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in and show you perfectly you could see that bright silver spring with the Fox name all of that suspension has been tweaked by the Roush organization so it's not just about a look and just a style they actually went through some of the components on the truck to really make it a performer on road and off-road now as we come down the side I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing back around and show you that nice flared fender all the way around and you'll notice that we have the f-150 roush badge here with your functional vent i like the way they did that extra touch flat black on the mirror caps i am gonna zonk i think that roush should have painted these black as well just like the fender openings but if you're wondering well joe what trim is this based off of it's right in the sweet spot it's an xlt i think for me it should be a lariat but it's an xlt trim you got your stationary running boards along the bottom and then as steven kind of zooms in he's going to show you the roush name nicely placed nothing too gaudy right on the side there you do have your keypad on the door pillar this allows you to actually lock the doors and unlock them without the keys in case you're going on maybe a jet ski in case maybe you're going swimming you don't have to have the keys in your pocket and then destroy the key fob now as you work your way back we got that quad door set up and then when we get to the rear, the actual bed of the truck, you'll be able to see the steel box frame and all the suspension work that they did on the rear. Coming towards the back, of course, we have the good old US of A flag. I like the way Jack Roush puts that on there. And then at the tail end of the business, you got the Roush name. So we got Roush. I am gonna zonk the Ford badge. This should be blacked out. The blue oval should be blacked out, but the Roush, name is looking good with that satin black finish from the hood on the roof and the tailgate we do have metal carbonized gray bumpers really really nice touch clean on the tail lights but just like up front it would be nice if they were led and then of course we have our full tow capability now i'm going to have steven kind of come around because this is a little special treat that we have check out the custom exhaust so we have a cat back active exhaust the Roush name, nice slash cut, aluminum tips, gonna make this V8 because we got V8 power, baby. Underneath the hood, five liters of V8 power. And then just like a lot of other F-150s, you hit the button, you got that nice soft release. You got your measuring. Whenever you're having a measuring competition with your friends to see whose is the biggest, you can put it right here on the tailgate. And then of course the bed, has the bed liner right from the factory. And I really, really am digging how we have LED lighting in the bed, but then we also have our power source, that home power source, easy to get to. And then of course, I'm gonna have Steven kind of go along the side of the bed and show in the cab there, the Jack Roush signature right in the back. I think it's a nice little touch, nothing too over the top. But the last piece of the puzzle, you know, sometimes it might be difficult to get in and out of your Roush F-150. So what they have is that Ford system built into the tailgate. Very rugged, very durable, and it's a step-by-step -step process. One, two, three, and we're done. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk horsepower about this Roush F-150. Hi guys, I got a big surprise for you and wait until I show you. Underneath the hood, we do have the hood struts. Like I said, we have functional heat extractors. There's the proof right there of the functional heat extractors on the underside of the hood. And look at what we have. Not only do we have a custom Roush air box with that k n filter, that performance cone filter, we have a ginormous, you can literally take a softball and roll it through this intake tube into the throttle body. And then look at what we got back there, a Roush charger. That is a supercharger 
on this five liter F-150. So from the factory, a five liter F-150 has some pretty good horsepower, 400 horsepower, but after Jack Roush, get, Roush gets done with it, it now has 705 horsepower. The truck is made it still to a 10 speed automatic. It's got 373 gears, zero to 60 in about 3.7 seconds. And you could still tow up to 14,000 pounds with this vehicle. So nice to see that this isn't simply just a graphics kit. It's not just a cat back exhaust that Jack Roush slapped on. They actually did the work and the tuning to have the airbox properly set up with that Roush charger, that supercharger. Love the way it's got the Roush name, but I don't know about you. If you're ready, I'm ready. I wanna hear what this freaking beast sounds like. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we are inside this Roush F-150. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this is one bad mamma jamma. I'm loving the look of the truck. I'm loving the fact that it's got a supercharger. I guess the big question is, how much is it? Very good question. Well, first of all, you can win this from Dream Giveaway Garage. And remember, they don't pay me to say this, but they want to hook up the Radies Rides fans. If you spend $25 or more, use the Radies Rides promo code you get double the giveaway chances of winning. This one has an MSRP, I hope you're sitting down, $85,000. Let's see what you get if you're adding this to your dream garage to the door panels. So XLT does a decent job with the finishes. You're gonna have that soft touch material. It's sort of like wetsuit with the white contrast stitching. If you notice on that gray black area tr of trim it's not gloss black it's actually a map of detroit on the door panel so if you're ever in detroit in this truck and you get lost they got you covered you have a nice metallic gray painted finish no gloss black the bno sound system the three twinkie holder they call that the triple tray right in the center for three truck twinkies and a nicely padded armrest with contrast stitching. The best part is the bottom part of the door panel, the door pocket, ginormous. You could get your meatball sub in there, 12 inches. You could get a 12 inch cold cut trio, and you could get a bottle of Pepsi to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same news. You got that wetsuit style material. I love this way they do this kind of grain on the center area here. I like that you get a Roush badge. The problem is this is the only thing in here besides the seats that doesn't say Roush on it. And that's a little bit of a bummer, but I do like the way they have more of that painted gray finish rather than just gloss black. And then what do you get when you slide on in? You get 12 inches, 12 inches of infotainment. You do have that ability to turn on your zone lighting all the way around. If you're at a campsite and maybe Freddy Krueger or Jason is after you, you could turn on the lights. Maybe that weird scream guy uh, from the scream franchise of movies you do also have your separate screen on the side that you could go through a cornucopia of different information that's displayed as well which is really nice i like to have the off-road stuff it just looks kind of cool you also have like i said that forward-facing camera they did a good job on the resolution you got your 360 and then you're right back to where you started pro trailer assist makes you look like a champ when you're putting your boat in the water Real knobs and buttons. We're moving away from this kind of stuff. Nice to have the actual volume knob switches. You got your dual climate control, which is nice. And then you have three stages of heated seats. And that's the reason why I feel like this should be a higher trim. I need to have ventilated seats at $85,000. 12 volt, home power source, nice little lids. You got a massive storage area down here. Easily put a baker's dozen of Twinkies, USB-A, USB-C, and if you're trying to be healthy and you have a potassium shortage, you could actually put two bananas in your banana holder 
or you could try to fit a head of broccoli in there because that's the two best ways to get potassium in your diet are bananas or broccoli, one or the other. Two cup holders, you got a place to put your Slim Jim. You do get, of course, for $85,000, your Roush little tether for your key fob here. And the good news is they do give you an actual Roush key fob. Remote start, you can show it off to all your friends at Cars and Coffee. Leather on the shifter, this is gonna control the 10 speed automatic, watch this. Abra Cadabra, Abra, goodbye. The only folding shifter in the industry, and no, you can't do that when you're driving. Whoever were the people to ask that, I mean like really? They're gonna put warning labels on everything. You really think they're gonna let you fold down a shifter at speed? It doesn't work that way. But what does work very nice, soft material on the armrest, and then watch this. Turns into an actual workstation. Steven was actually doing some editing to his photos on his laptop here while we were getting the truck ready to rock and roll for the filming. Do it right here. Got your mouse, whatever you're doing. Maybe you got like a little Casio keyboard. You could play like the greatest love of all from Whitney Houston right there. And then the best part, boom, what do we have? We actually have the Roush. How do I know it's Roush? It's got a badge, Roush safe. They call it a gun safe, but I'm gonna call it the candy safe because you could fit, I would say, geez Louise, at least two boxes of Twinkies in there. And remember, there's a difference between a truck Twinkie and a regular Twinkie. A truck Twinkie actually measures four and a half inches long. Your standard Twinkie is three inches long. So just something to remember when you're buying Twinkies. And then the seats, we have the optional Roush leather seats, the embroidery. I wish they would have done it just a little bit bigger, but what I'm loving is the stitching here. Look at, look at this material, the nice bolstering. You do have your controls on the side for the passenger. I have my controls for the driver. I think the other Zonk for $85,000. No sunroof, that's a bummer. But why don't you get your butt over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Roush F-150. All right guys, behind the wheel of this F-150 from Roush. How do I know I'm sitting in a Roush F-150? Guess what, we have the, pad the pedals Nicely done. They're not just covers. They actually replace them with the R there for Jack Roush. Hello, where's the nice Roush dead pedal? That to me is a bit of a bummer, but you do have the seat controls. Really, really nice with all of that mobility. I got the little Roush tag here. That gives you an extra five horsepower. And I'm six feet tall, plenty of room obviously. In a full size truck, you should have plenty of room. Steering wheel, standard leather, with the stitching, I just wish they would have done a Roush badge here. I mean, come on, if you're gonna do the badges, give me all the badges. It's a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. They do give you a Roush speedometer and tachometer, and then you have that large digital display in the center, which showcases a bunch of info. But while we get into the back seat, that's the last piece of this puzzle, and then we're going on throttle in this truck. Hi guys, back seat time, and we've already shown you back seats to F-150s. This should be no surprise, but I want to bring all the details like I always do. Backs of the seats, the leather, you do have massive pockets to where you can keep all those autographed pictures of Jack Roush that you've collected over the years. You went to Indy, you went to the Daytona 500, you even went to his house unexpectedly, which almost got you arrested, but Jack being the stand-up guy gave you that autograph. You do have your command center, two cup holders, a 12 volt. I wish there was a USB of some sort. Actually, there is. Ha ha, USB C and A. And then you have a home power source with your two AC vents. Plenty of room back here. Like I said, if you need more room, yeah, you could go F250, F350, 450, 550, 650, 750, but this should be pretty good for you. I do like the way they did the same seat material as they did up front so that your rear seat passengers don't have to be sad. Nobody wants a sad passenger because then they cry, they moan, and then all you wanna do is kick them out. But I don't wanna kick you out, I wanna get you in the passenger seat with me. If you're ready, I'm ready, let's go on throttle in this supercharged Roush F-150. All right guys, we are inside this Roush F-150. Supercharged power, supercharged fun. If you're ready, I'm ready, I got the exhaust valve wide open we're gonna go on throttle from a dead stop 
and you're gonna be able to hear it inside the cabin from the passenger side, but if you're ready, I'm ready, here we go! Yeah, throttle! Nice! And that's the thing is, is that you're getting that supercharged power with the V8 really comes in down low, a lot different than your standard Ford Raptor. Now, as you notice, I did not say Raptor R. Raptor R is on a different level and a different price point, but when you're looking at this compared to a standard Raptor or even a TRX, really builds the power nicely. I'm noticing that compared to a Raptor R, you're actually getting a little bit more supercharger whine inside the cabin. Still the king of doing the supercharger whine has gotta be Mopar. They do it better than any of the brands. From behind the wheel, you're noticing that traditional off-road truck feel, but it's nice to have the Fox racing suspension, the 2.0, all four corners, and the special Fox Springs. And then of course that Roush exhaust, I mean, it's just glorious. Hot throw, here we go. The thing is, is getting traction to the ground because in two wheel drive, which is what we're in right now, with those off-road tires, the vehicle does struggle to get power to the ground. The traction control light is like, help me, help me, help me. And, and that's because of all that power. I would have liked to have seen this be a Jack Roush street truck. Put some nice lowering springs, get this to a very street height level, and put some sticky tires on it. Now we're talking. But why don't we go ahead and go on throttle some more, shall we? On throttle, here we go. At 10 speed drops down and we are off on the brakes remember this isn't a corner carver by any means but you're still getting that composed drive and people are going to hear you coming down the road and getting out of the way that's for sure i love from behind the wheel you see those two amazing heat extractors on the hood and then these seats they're comfortable they look good they feel good i just wish they were ventilated that's that one extra thing in there. But it's interesting, you know, for this price point, you are getting some special touches that you're just not gonna find. Would I go this over a Raptor? I think I'm gonna go Raptor. Or maybe try one of the Shelby line of trucks. The only problem I have with the Shelby trucks is that they're not actually built by Shelby American. They're built by a company called Tuscany, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if it has the Shelby name on it, I want an actual Shelby truck. But this Roush truck has the name and it's got the power, that's for sure. But everything else that you know and love about an F-150 is here. You got the easy to read instrumentation, you got the massive infotainment system, and then you got the power, supercharged power. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna put in the manual shift mode. The problem with that is I have to use this plus and minus button system on the side of the shifter, but we're gonna see how it goes. Are you ready? I'm definitely ready. On right, throw, here we go. <laughs> Little bit of a pause there. Definitely getting harder, faster acceleration. And that's one of the things that I think Roush should have probably done is maybe reprogrammed the transmission to shift at different shift points because in regular automatic mode with the 10 speed, I think that's the one thing that's holding the truck back. But when you shift using the buttons, you can let those RPMs really run up to redline the problem is is that when you hit the button for the next gear it takes a few seconds and that makes me feel a little uncomfortable to where i can't focus on driving i gotta focus on when am i hitting the button so my advice is that if you're going to shift with the buttons do it ahead of where you think you should be hitting the button that way 
it shifts a little quicker, a little smoother. Let's try this again. So this is first gear, second gear, on throttle, here we go. See, I have to just hit it. If you hit the button right at 6,000, then you're good. If you go above 6,000, that's when you're gonna run into some issues. But it allows you to really hear the growl of that exhaust, especially on the passenger side, since the exhaust exits on the powers, the passenger side. But the suspension is actually really good in here. Like I said, it's a good compromise between off-road and dirt and asphalt. But I like the fact when you use manual mode, then you could hold that gear. So now I'm in third gear, I can slow down or I can get back on it. Nice, now we're talking. Like I said, just be a little careful on the twisty bits because this isn't a, car, a corner carver. So definitely, I think the right recipe would be have paddles behind the steering wheel would make this much more enjoyable, just like you would find on a Raptor or a TRX. Let me drop it down to second again. On throttle! Nice! Much better. All right, guys, it's been a mind-blowing day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. Definitely want to thank Lori, Ryan, Chris, the whole crew for getting us access to this Roush F-150. Remember, if you want to win this one, use the Radies Rise promo code. You get double the giveaway chances if you spend $25 or more. But let me know what you think. Are you going to go Roush F-150? Are you going to go Raptor? Or are you going to go something like what a Ram TRX? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. We're very proud of him. He just got his CDL license so that he can operate any size truck because he is one heck of a truck driver. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.